actor Alec Baldwin has been charged with involuntary manslaughter over the fatal shooting of a cinematographer on the movie set of Rust. October 21st, 2021 seemed like a normal day of shooting on the set of the film Rust, until this day suddenly took a terrible turn. During a shooting exercise, the gun of actor and producer of the film Alec Baldwin went off. It took the life of the cinematographer and wounded the director. The drama raised vital questions about the cause of the deadly incident. Was it a terrible accident or was it intentional? 21 kilometers southwest of Santa Fe, New Mexico lies the ghost town of Bonanza City. It was founded in 1880 as a mining town because of the discoveries of gold and silver in the nearby Cerrillos Hills. Over time, the once thriving community became an abandoned and forgotten place, a ghost town. Since 1940, it has been owned by the Hughes family. With only a pond and thousands of acres of land, the Bonanza Creek Movie Ranch was built in 1950. In the following years, it expanded into a popular destination for filmmakers. According to the ranch's website, five different sets can currently be found on the thousands of acres of land, including a town with 24 buildings and stunning views. With more than 150 films, music videos, commercials, catalog shoots, and more, Bonanza Creek Ranch is a true hub of the film industry. The ranch is also available for private parties, visits for classes, and corporate retreats. Among the various Western-style buildings on the ranch was a wooden rustic church where a scene from the movie Rust with Alec Baldwin was shot. Alec Baldwin is a well-known American actor and film producer known for his diverse acting skills. With two Primetime Emmy Awards, three Golden Globe Awards, and seven Screen Actors Guild Awards, Baldwin became the only male actor with the most Screen Actors Guild Awards in history. Baldwin was shooting his 2021 film Rust when a fatal accident occurred that changed the lives of several people forever. On Thursday afternoon, October 21st, 2021, Alec Baldwin and crew members gathered at the Wooden Church at Bonanza Creek Ranch for the filming of the movie Rust, in which Baldwin played the role of a rough and tough outlaw who evades authorities with his grandson. After a lunch break, Baldwin and several crew members, including the film's director, Joel Souza, and cinematographer Helena Hutchins reconvened in the wooden church and began rehearsing a shooting scene from the film. According to the official report from the Santa Fe County Sheriff's Office, the following happened. At that time, there were no cameras rolling. Assistant Director Dave Halls grabbed a fake gun from a cart and yelled, cold gun, to indicate that it was not loaded. After that, he passed the gun to Baldwin, who was sitting on a pew looking at the camera and the production crew. Baldwin did a cross draw, where he pulled the gun out of a holster on the opposite side of his body from that of his dominant hand, after which he then had to point the gun at the camera. He held up the Colt 45 revolver, which he thought was loaded with dummy rounds, pointed it towards the camera while saying, so I guess I'm gonna take this out, pull it, and go bang. A sudden loud bang echoed through the room as the gun was fired, sending a lead bullet through Hutchins' chest and hitting Joel Souza in the shoulder. Hutchins fell backward as blood began to flow from her chest. Souza fell to the ground while holding his injured shoulder. Chaos broke out on the film set as crew members rushed to call 911, and the doctor on set tried to stop the bleeding from Hutchins' wound. Sheriff's deputies immediately responded to the incident and cordoned off the area with crime scene tape. Hutchins was rushed by helicopter to the University of New Mexico Hospital in Albuquerque. Unfortunately, she was declared dead there at the age of 42. Souza, who suffered a gunshot wound to his right shoulder, was transported to St. Vincent's Hospital in Santa Fe and fortunately survived. In the aftermath of the shooting, film production was immediately suspended and local authorities launched an investigation into the incident. Well, the trigger wasn't pulled, I didn't pull the trigger. During an emotional interview with an American news channel, Baldwin stated that just before the shooting, he and Hutchins discussed camera angles for a scene on a film set at the church, which involved a gun. He stated that Hutchins instructed him to point the gun at her armpit. Moreover, Baldwin claimed that he was told that the gun was unloaded and that he only drew the gun during rehearsal of the scene and did not pull the trigger. Baldwin expressed immense sadness regarding the fatal incident that took Hutchins' life, but claimed not to feel guilty. Someone put a live bullet in a gun, a bullet that wasn't even supposed to be on the property, Baldwin said. Someone is responsible for what happened, and I can't say who that is, but I know it's not me. During the interview, Baldwin said about Hutchin, I loved working with this woman, he said. She was a joy. 
everyone loved her as a person, and everyone admired her talent. Hutchins was born on April 10, 1979, in Horodets, Ukraine. She spent her childhood in Mayermansk, a Russian city located in the Arctic Circle on a military base of the Soviet Union. Her father served in the Soviet Navy during that time. She was known for her cheerful and adventurous spirit. She developed a passion for films and storytelling. After working on documentary films in Eastern Europe, she went to Los Angeles to pursue her film studies. In 2019, American Cinematographer Magazine recognized Helena as one of the rising stars in the film industry, and she lived up to that distinction until her life was cut short by an unfortunate incident on the film set at the age of 42. The last words Hutchins spoke to the operator on the film set were, That was no good. That was no good at all. A few weeks after the shooting incident, a chaotic picture emerged about the atmosphere on the film set. The LA Times reported that several union employees had left the set in protest of working conditions just hours before shooting. Moreover, prior to Hutchins shooting, there had been three separate incidents in which the prop gun had been misfired. Following the deadly shooting incident, multiple lawsuits were filed by crew members of the film. On November 17, a lawsuit was filed by script supervisor Mamie Mitchell, who alleges that the production team failed to follow firearm safety protocols and that the script did not call for cocking or firing the gun. In February 2022, Hutchins' husband, Matthew Hutchins, their son and their estate filed a lawsuit against Baldwin and others involved in the film, alleging that reckless behavior and attempts to reduce the cost of the film led to her death. Later in October 2022, an undisclosed settlement was reached between the relatives of Hutchins and Alec Baldwin and others involved in the film production. On 20th April 2022, Occupational Health and Safety Bureau of New Mexico imposed a fine of $136,793 on Rust Film Production Company for failing to ensure firearms safety. Live ammunition was found on a cart on film location and in the holster located within the building where the shooting occurred. In addition, both blank and dummy cartridges were found among the ammunition that was seized. During the investigation on the film set, the Bureau discovered that no measures had been taken to ensure that live ammunition was not present on the film set and that several complaints from crew members about firearm safety were ignored. Later in August 2022, post-mortem investigation report signed by the Chief Medical Investigator of New Mexico concluded that Helena's death resulted from a gunshot wound to the chest and the manner of death was classified as an accidental occurrence as there was no evidence for obvious intent to cause harm or death. The FBI's analysis regarding the firearm used by Baldwin indicated that the firearm in question could not have been fired without pulling the trigger. It was also determined that the weapon's internal components were still intact and fully functioning. This ruled out the possibility that a mechanical failure could have caused an unintended shot. The report contradicts Baldwin's earlier claims that he had not pulled the gun's trigger. Baldwin's attorney, Luke Nikas, came forward with the statement that the person in charge of safety on set told Baldwin that the firearm was unloaded, leading him to believe it was safe to use. He also noted that Baldwin was unaware of any potential danger on set. In January 2023, Baldwin sued film armorer Gutierrez Reed and assistant director Dave Halls and others associated with the film for negligence. Both Reed and Halls, through their respective lawyers, denied responsibility and accused Baldwin of shifting the blame onto others. Additionally, Reed filed a lawsuit against ammunition suppliers for the movie, who deny any wrongdoing. He claimed that live ammunition was mixed with the batch of dummy ammunition that was sold to them. On 31st January 2023, New Mexico prosecutors charged Baldwin and Gutierrez Reed with two counts of involuntary manslaughter for their role in Hutchins' death. According to a probable cause document, Baldwin is accused of not addressing multiple serious safety violations on the set and failing to participate in the training provided for basic firearm safety rules. A training session of one hour or more was planned which consisted of 30 minutes of actual training. Baldwin was reportedly distracted and on the phone with his family during the time of training. On the other hand, Reed was charged because she did not ensure firearm safety by checking the rounds loaded in the gun and she also failed to prevent Baldwin from engaging in hazardous and reckless safety violations, such as pointing the weapon at people and placing his finger on the trigger. Prosecutors also claimed that the photographic and video evidence shows Baldwin repeatedly with his finger inside the trigger guard and on the trigger when drawing, pointing, and holstering the gun. Both of them are facing two counts of involuntary manslaughter, 
allowing a jury to determine which count is more appropriate in the case. Both charges are considered a fourth-degree felony, which is punishable by 18 months in jail and a fine of $5,000. The second charge carries a firearm enhancement or added a mandatory penalty, making the offense punishable by five years in jail. The attorneys of Baldwin and Gutierrez-Reed are hopeful that their clients will be found not guilty by jury. Now they look forward to hearing the cases against Baldwin and Gutierrez-Reed on February 24, 2023. Additionally, charges of the negligent use of a deadly weapon were filed against Dave Halls, assistant director of Rust, who has agreed to plead guilty and received a suspended sentence and a six-month probationary period. He has been scheduled to appear in court on March 8, 2023. According to the family's lawyers, a new lawsuit has been filed by the parents and sister of Helena Hutchins, the cinematographer who was fatally shot on the set of the movie Rust, both against Alec Baldwin and the film itself. During a press conference on Thursday 9, February 2023, the attorneys representing Helena Hutchins' family, Gloria Allred and John Carpenter, declared that they had filed the lawsuit in the Los Angeles Superior Court. The lawsuit accuses the defendants of causing intentional infliction of emotional distress, negligence, and loss of consortium, which resulted in Hutchins' death. As per Allred's statement, Hutchins' family is coping with the loss of their family member while residing in Ukraine, where a war is currently taking place. Hutchins' sister is working as an emergency room nurse, while her brother-in-law is fighting on the front lines of the war. According to the family's attorneys, if Helena Hutchins were alive, she would have desired to bring her family to the United States. The tragic death of the Ukrainian cinematographer and injury to the director had a profound impact on the entertainment industry. The loss was deeply felt by the cast, crew, and the broader film community. The incident received significant media attention and sparked a public debate about the use of firearms in public places. The tragic events of that day serve as a powerful reminder of the importance of safety and security on film sets and the need for everyone involved in the production process to prioritize the well-being of those around them. Thanks for watching this story. Don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on your notification bell to stay updated on more similar videos. We would love to hear your thoughts, so feel free to share your comments below. Until next time.